Plunier, and I thought I would kill two challenges with one stone. Oh. Moira, I have a story for you. This is for you. This is a fun story. I just did it like 20 minutes ago. Bear with me. Once upon a time, on a boat far away, there was a young man named Christoph who was a cabin boy. And every night, after a long, hard day's work on the boat, he would go to bed, and before he would go to bed, he would take out a beautiful golden locket and he would open it up, he would sigh, look longingly at it, close it up, give it a kiss, put it under his pillow, and go to sleep. There was another young man on this boat who noticed this nightly ritual. And he was more of a pirate than a sailor, meaning he really just liked to steal things. <laughs> so, on the day that it was scheduled for him to go home, he and Christophe both, the boat came into harbor, and a young thief named Peter crept into the cabin boy's place of sleeping, and while he was sleeping, stole the locket and jumped ship and went to shore. He disappeared into the dark forest. When Christophe woke up, he couldn't find his locket to put it on. And he was absolutely stunned. And he knew deep down, yeah, I'll bet you it was Peter. And so when he went out and he asked, hey, where did Peter go? And they said, oh, he took off into the deep dark forest over there. Christoph said, well, then I'm just going to have to go get him. So Christoph jumped ship and headed down into the deep dark forest following Peter's trail. But Peter was pretty good at losing Christoph. Christoph lost his trail just as it started to get dark. And as I said, this is a deep, dark forest. And as Christoph continued into the forest, it got deeper, it got darker and darker until he just couldn't see anything anymore. He heard noises. This was an alien land to him. And so he knew nothing else to do but to walk, keep walking forward and whistle. Because whistling keeps away the demons. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Although this particular time, it did keep away demons, but not necessarily giant saber-toothed snowshoe bunny rabbits. <laughs> that heard him whistling and jumped out at him. You are a trespasser, said this mature, very, very gigantic bunny. Kristoff, stop. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. No, 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 no. I am the king of this side of the forest. You are a trespasser. Now you must pay. I don't have any money. Oh no. Oh no, says the bunny. You have to pay traditionally. Um, Christoph was confused. I do not understand your customs and ways. What do you mean by traditionally? Oh, you must best me by the sword. Oh, well, I don't have a... The big bunny ignored Kristoff and yelled into the forest, SWORD, PLEASE! And there was a moment of silence. And in the clearing jumped a little tiny bunny. Yes, sir, I'm here. Kristoff was again confused. Um, I thought you said I had to best you by the sword. Yes, said the large king bunny. This is sword. You're going to have a riddle contest. <laughs> oh, this is oh, this is uh, this sounds a little bit more fair. I'm on board with this. I'm definitely on board with this. All right, my sword shall go first. <clears throat> The little bunny hopped forward. Why didn't the Greek god understand the Norse god? Did they speak different languages? Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe. That could be it. Christoph thought very hard. It can't be that simple, though. There's got to be something else going on here, right? He thinks really hard, and he goes, I got it, I got it, I got it. It was a misunderstanding. Oh. 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 You got that, says the bunny. Christoph says, okay, my turn, my turn, my turn. What do pigs have for breakfast? The little bunny goes, oh, that's a toughie. Um, oh, I've got it. Oink, meal. Ah, oh, well, you, you definitely got that, says Kristoff. The bunny says, well, now it's my turn. When is a knot a knot? No, said Kristoff, no. When it's not. When is a not, not a not. When it's not. The bunny says, oh, you got that one. You got that one. All right, then my turn. Kristoff thinks for a moment. I got it. What do pigs keep in their closets? <laughs> the bunny thought. I know, I know. Squealitons. <laughs> Man, you sure did get that. The little bunny, the little bunny named Sword, looks up at Kristoff and. without hesitation, looks down at the bunny named Sword and said, I'm from Oklahoma. Oh. <laughs> oh, dang, I know what I'm be. Oh. You win this one. The big giant bunny, who is the king of the forest, steps forward and says, okay, you've beaten my sword. Now, you get to ask us something. And Kristoff says, well, I'm looking for Peter the thief. He stole my locket. And that locket has a picture of my true love. And I cannot venture in this world without it. Oh, says the king, you must be talking about the young man that went that way. I will get my subjects to help you. Subjects! And so hundreds of little bunnies jumped from the forest. And Kristoff said, he's kind of tall, he looks like a thief, and he smells bad because he was sailing with me for six months on the ship. And the bunnies said, we know right where he is. And they took Kristoff directly to the young thief, who was sleeping comfortably under a tree and wasn't expecting Kristoff to show up with a hundred bunnies. <laughs> the young thief, Peter, heard them coming. Who doesn't hear a hundred bunnies tramping through the forest towards their, toward their destination? Their so the young thief jumps up. Who's there? It is I, Christophe. You have stolen the lo my locket, the only picture I have of my true love, and I want it back. Ha! I'm not giving that back to you. It's made of gold. I'm not afraid of you. You don't even have a sword. Oh, yes, I do, said Kristoff. And he reached down, he picked up the bunny named Sword, and he threw it at Peter. <laughs> don't how? And he did it again. He picked up another bunny, and he threw it at Peter. Bam! And suddenly there was a bunny ball fight. <laughs> Which Peter did, in fact, lose, because his aim was... Knowing he was beaten, he took out the rocket and he threw it at Kristoff and said, Here, have it anyway! Turned around and ran.
bring it home. Kristoff was happy to have his locket back. And he opened it up, and he sighed, and gave it a kiss. And then he went back to the ship. Thought, <laughs>